Wow, so I guess that's the only way you can find the freaking quantum deconstructor piece over here. Look at this. I only found, I couldn't find it by flying around with the saucer, but I found it by, oh my god. Oh, this game is testing me. It really is. Oh, whatever. Make them go free love. So, there, I got it. The quantum deconstructor is your saucer's biggest weapon. It takes out city blocks and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I already knew that. I already knew the quantum deconstructor was the most powerful freaking thing. The thing is, though, there was, there was never any mission that told me that's where it was. I made a previous video, which I'm probably not going to upload, where I was flying around my saucer trying to freaking find the, the freaking thing for the quantum deconstruction. The data core. Ooh, I spotted a weapon data core. Why couldn't you have spotted it when I was in the freaking saucer? Oh my god. Fox, you're retarded. <laughs> but whatever, at least I have all the weapons now. I can stop complaining about the dumb game. It's just pissing me off, though. It really, really is at this point. Alright, can we visit the Pox Mart? 56, holy shit, alright. So, the reason why I wanted to get that data core, by the way, is because it unlocks other stuff for the other data cores, like this. Disintegrator Ray is effective against the Blisk. That is going to be very, very helpful. So, let me see right here. Um, some of this stuff I can't even... De Detonator is effective against the Blisk. Oh, that's why it wasn't unlocked, because I didn't see the Blisk yet. Duh. Increased Meteor Effect against the Blisk. Oh, my God. I don't know what to choose. Gas Shield can hurt the Blisk. Everyone can... So you have to individually buy it. Increase damage versus the Blisk. The Blisk. Increase Detonator... We'll do the Quantum Deconstructor. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, can I get this? No, nope, I'm four off. I almost had enough. All right, Moonbase Solaris. Finally, we're gonna go to the freaking moon. Let's go. Last location, last missions, then we're done with destroy all freaking humans too. What the fuck? Oh my god, the game just froze. Oh my god. This fucking game. I didn't save it. I didn't save the... Well, no, wait a minute. Is it autosave? Maybe it's autosave. Maybe it's autosave, because the first game was actually autosave. I slammed my console, so maybe that did it. Yep, the fucking game froze. <laughs> there you go. Smash the Xbox a couple of times. That always solves it. Oh, this fucking game. If they reverted me back any farther than when I was, I am going to just collapse. Like, I'm just going to end the playthrough. Like, there's no point. I'm being driven insane by playing this game. Like, I know it's a game people want to see me play, but you have to understand how many hours I've been putting into this freaking game playthrough. Like, at this point, it's just ridiculous. It's really just ridiculous. And now the fucking game freezes. Like, come on. Like, I know the game's old and shit, but come on. That's no fucking excuse. So, great. Now let's see where the game's gonna spawn me. No, this isn't the right save. Alright. I knew that wasn't the right save, so now let me see. Alright, at least I'm at Tunguska. Alright, there's no missions on this planet. Let me see if I... Let me see how many things I have. I only have 18. Thank God the game auto-saved. 
Thank you, game developers, for putting autosave into the game. If you didn't, I would have been royally fucked. So, okay, um, it looks like I have to go to Solaris again. Now, can we not have the game freeze up, please? Thank you! Now you decide to work! Alright, finally, we're going to the motherfucking moon. Finally! And for some reason, Crypto needs to wear a helmet. I don't really know why, but he does. Spirit calls not showing up on my scanners, but I am detecting Soviets of plenty and buttloads of blisk. What's worse, Natalia's been gathering intel from the cosmonauts, and you won't believe what she's found. Project Solaris is a blisk weapon built to bombard the Earth with bliskifying spores. Go see Natalia. She'll give you the gory details. Oh, what I couldn't give for a king-sized crab claw cracker! Oh, uh, I thought this was space. Why is there, like, there's gravity? What the hell? Doesn't make any sense. How is there gravity in space? Whatever. Alright. Ooh, she's in a sexy suit. Nice okay, sexy, what's the plan? We must find a way to prevent the proliferation of the Blisk spores. Our intel shows the spores derive energy from massive radiation. We need to cut off their radiation supply so we can slow Putting my down. hands in front of you makes it more important. Radiation? Why does it always have to be radiation? So how do they get their radiation supply? Their lunar rovers deliver radioactive materials from the mine to the base. I want you to follow one of the rovers to the mining site. Is that all? I thought it was going to be some hard. You got it, Dave. Alright. I'll do whatever you want. 1969, A Space Odyssey. I thought it was 2001, A Space Odyssey. Follow the lunar rover to the mining zone. What, Neil Armstrong didn't see this freaking moon base on his way here? There's freaking Furotech cells on the moon. This is insane. I didn't think the Soviets could do something like this. Man. All these freaking vehicles. And they must have been thinking of this like directly after World War II. Because you know how much time it would take to freaking do this? You know George freaking Bush had an idea like this? He had an idea where America would have like a base like this. They would have like a base where humans would be able to live on the moon. This is actually real. Like George W. Bush a couple of years ago actually thought that humans could, li could live on the moon, kind of similar to what you're seeing here. So, it's not like this idea is far-fetched. There's actually people who have thought of this and actually have tried to do it, but unfortunately George freaking blew all of his uh, money on the stupid war in Iraq and Afghanistan, so we don't need to go into political talks right now. Alright, what's going on? Crypto! Those conical gizmos must be the top...
This is ridiculous. stuck in the wall. Fuck you, you Soviet freaking idiot. I love how the Americans could never do anything like this. Americans are still ignorant in their own little, uh, world. They were the main villains of the first game, but, you know. of these stupid spacemen, so, or spacemen. Alright, let me get in one of these spacemen's bodies. Coming right up. 